Hello everyone, welcome to Artrel Studio and I am Anuja. Today we will be talking about the eminent artist Jamini Roy. So I welcome everybody who is joined in and there are more people joining in. So if you are there, please type in a yes or a hello so that I get to know who all are there. I have got a lot of messages as in like you are all very excited about Jamini Roy's study. So uh, we'll check whether you, the audio and the video is going on uh, correct or not. So please type in a yes if you can hear my voice and see it clearly. So we'll wait for that. For those who have joined in new, we have already covered our Kalighat painting and that is a uh, part of the Bengal Patachitra. Thank you, uh, Sheetal. Thanks a lot. So yes, considering it, you all can view me and hear me well. Now, uh, we have already done our Kalighat painting and Kalighat painting we did five days. Today is our sixth day. So, when uh, in Kalighat paintings, we talked about a lot of uh, Patua uh, artists. Those who were called Patua, they used to do it on the Pat. And they used to reside very close to the Kalighat temple and that is where the name originates as Kalighat paintings. Now, uh, when we talk about the Patachitra, Patachitra is something that we see in Orissa also and in Bengal also. There is Orissa Patachitra and Bengal Patachitra, both, the, uh, both of them. There, uh, there are, have been a lot of variations in Kalighat painting also. The way it started and the way it evolved and the way it declined, we have covered all the three phases of that art. But there was, uh, there was one artist who actually... Uh, was very moved by the folk art of uh, Bengal Patachitra and took it to a modern level. So from a traditional style to the modernist approach and his name was no other than Jamini Roy. Jamini Roy, his life was of 85 years, born in around 1887 and, um, and then he passed away after 85 years. In his time, in his time, he was, he started as a, as an artist, as a learning artist. Uh, all the other artists that were already there in the tradition were the artists who have learned it by looking. So it was an art that was just practiced in the family and everybody gets involved in it and they learn it as they grow, they see it as a child and then they practice it till the time. And uh, that is the way of life, that is the way of earning, that is a family business or perhaps that's the family interest that uh, comes out. That was the uh, thing. But when Kali Ghat painting uh, was declining and uh, Jamini Roy at the age of 16, at the age of 16, he was very fond of art and at the age of 16, he got permission from his father, who was also known to be a very, uh, he was not, not a very art, artistic, but he was very fond of art. And that in those times, he was given the permission of going. He was not from a very rich background or something. He was a very normal child. At the age of 16, he was permitted by his father to go and pursue art and learn it academically, like proper curriculum based education on arts and then he took admission to art school in Kolkata. When he was 16 from the age of 16 till the age of 85 that was his term when he was learning and he was doing a lot of experimentation on his art forms. So he was not um, he has not learned that art from the beginning it was the beauty of the art or the charisma of the art that has uh, uh, pulled his interest. He, uh, when he graduated from his art school, he was impressionist uh, artist of uh, landscapes and portraits and he used to work only with the oil paints. So he was an oil paint, the medium was oil paint and the themes were mostly, the subjects were the landscape and the portraitures. And he was, a, uh, he was the student of Abhinendra um, Tagore. A very nice and uh, but then what what has happened later when he was practicing that that was something that everybody was practicing and he learned it very nicely there but then he was not 
doing it so when uh, doing it or he pursued it or he had the charm in it he practiced that's a practice of uh, the learning process when he was doing his portraits and landscapes so when you uh, study about uh, jamini roy you see in the initial times when you see jamini roy's paintings it's mostly portraits and landscapes and the medium is oil but later what happened when he moved to his town and uh, to bengal uh, where the culture is so rich and uh, and he was seeing all the patuas he loved uh, himself being called a patua because patua who is a patua we have already talked about which i'll repeat it again because even that is associated with jamini roy patua is considered to be the artist local artisans artists who were uh, doing the paintings on the pat or the cloth they were the scroll paintings but uh, later on the scrolls uh, were not used anymore and we took the paper but from the very uh, modern approach where he was learning in the school and all his uh, Uh, the deans and all were not indian also he was learning there and then when he moved out of the university then he started looking for what actually he wants to do and coming to bengal he was very much influenced by the lifestyle of the people there the tribes the uh, the musicians there then uh, there was a tribe uh, which was santal tribe santal tribe uh, the santal paintings we see the bronze skin of the people the tanned skin of the people because they are tribal people and most of the tribal people it's not like tagging them as a as bronze skin because they are mostly in the outdoors and they do very hard work so the bronze skin was from there and the local artists that artisans not artists artisans are the people who work with uh, the clay and the other material as well rather than just paints so there was a lot of uh, terracotta uh, things that were made by them and those terracotta things were depicted in his paintings so he op- he just took them as a subject as his thing and he depicted it in the painting form so we see very simple paintings of the horse the carts and all the beautiful small birds the alpana also the small motifs that we see in the fabrics also in katha paintings we see the influence of that so whether it is a borrowing or giving there is an exchange in the tradition so we you may not be able it's not very proper to say that jamini roy uh, gave it to the society or he borrowed it from the society because he was trying to do what he was seeing it for the it was a local uh, affair what he was seeing he was trying to depict in his paintings what is very very special about his paintings is the colors he he from oil paintings he moved to the naturally made colors and just uh, how, why a person who has the access to the easy ready made paint would go so tedious job of grinding and making the natural color all by himself it was jamini roy who took the all the tedious process of making his own natural colors and preparing his bases and then doing the painting so all his paintings that we see today the real paintings that are done there's a lot of a uh, uh, lot of uh, recreation that has happened people get inspired they really want to do th- his artwork as a sample they want to keep it as a token or a remembrance that's fine but the real pictures that we have today are in philadelphia victoria victoria museums and many other places and we see that the natural colors over a period of so uh, so many years those colors because they're natural colors you will see the uh, rusticness or the uh, when you see the uh, paintings also you will see some aging of the color which gives the a very beautiful uh, touch to the painting so it is the antiqueness of the painting or the real value of the painting we say so those were done so all the paints all the colors were actually grinded by him and made and and his putt which is the base or the paper was also handmade and he used the local locally uh, extracted locally gathered things to extract the pigments and then he used to work 
so uh, this is about jamini roy if in case you have any uh, questions you please type in i will try to talk as much as i uh, i would be able to while we will do the work on jamini roy today we will take a very small and a very beautiful picture what is again uh, yeah i missed a point uh, what is so eminent about his paintings they look very similar they look very simple but the simplicity is topped with the confidence of the stroke when you look at the jamini roy paintings uh, please uh, uh, when you are uh, trying to uh, look for his paintings do not go for the copies try to go for the for his real paintings and then you will be able to see it has a calligraphic expression what is calligraphic expression if i am saying that calligraphic expression is the touch the from the hair thin line it goes broad and then it releases into a very fine stroke so there is a wave that takes us and what the, his subjects are basically the local people what the things are going around animals toys and also mythology he was not only he was not only confined to the indian mythology but we see the um, a lot of uh, paintings that are uh, that have sufis in them jesus christ or any other mythological characters from indian mythology as well so the depiction of the society people they believe their diversity from uh, simpler to advanced to different kinds he experimented with all but his palette was very very restricted very restricted if i say the terracotta color was the you will see most in that green vermilion kind of a green ochre color white black gray those are the only five or six colors that are predominantly seen few of the colors are the mix of only those so uh, so that is how the earthy tones and very traditional rich palette rich and rustic so it was very rich because the brightness of the colors were very good and rustic because it was not uh, too modern it was very um, flat colors with border lines very strong so the brightness of the picture the the brightness and no complexity we see we see the structures in very symmetrical order so symmetry plays a very important role in his paintings you will see that the symmetry the, the faces are either straight or in the side profile no three fourth profiles are there and uh, the bodies uh, they are uh, not realistic but they because the waist is um, anatomically if you talk so it is very uh, exaggerated like the body the figures are exaggerated the twist in the body is exaggerated but they look stunningly beautiful so and um, uh, mostly there is a theme on it the faces you will see they will be flat expressionless so but the surrounding that the elements are those are there will narrate the story so the expressionless faces are there not much of the expression body curves are very very eminent and very beautiful and that is how uh, that's the trademark of his uh, thing so few of the paintings when you see the painting how do you cherish it how do you analyze it how do you appreciate it it is totally different on different i mean like different people will have a different interest in a painting in jamini roy's painting what he he captivates you in the colors he captivates that's my interpretation how it is some of the paintings take you to the perspective take you to the lane where you can drift off and uh, you can walk through the elements and the background and the sceneries like we have the four cards of pichwai art you you uh, feel the atmosphere here in jamini roy's he captivates he, his all or your attention has will be centered to the main figure and no moving around so it is like a total magnetic attraction of the main figure if you uh, if you have seen jamini roy's uh, painting and you actually um, uh, vote for the what i'm saying uh, i would wait for a thumbs up so like those who agree with me that there is no other background there is no background it's all flat coloring no shade work nothing it's only the beauty of the of the uh, body 
and expressionless faces but then there there are elements that will totally narrate the story so that is what it is in jamini roy's paintings uh good evening okay kids people are joining in right now uh okay sheetal i think i missed your question you said i miss uh my poster brown color is not giving opaque effects in kali ghat painting and background is looking shabby what to do okay so if in case you are doing poster colors and you are doing the background background is a bigger area and you might not be able to get very nice coloring you might get strokes also the best thing there are two ways of coloring one is when we sweep the shade so when you sweep the shade with your brush the sides you will have a border line and the inside gets more pressure and it pulls the color so you will have the sides sometimes with it when the water is more you tend to get lines so do not take water more reduce the uh, reduce the water amount in your poster colors and then try to do it from one side in smaller sections you will get a flat color if in case you are not getting that as well on the paper you can always do a second coat to get that color uh any other questions you have strokes are coming yes um, uh, do a little less see the ten uh, what is very important in the water based color is that you have to fix the water and the paint uh, consistency to where you do not get the lines when i give you the uh, even if i tell you that this much proportion of this much proportion it doesn't work because when you open the bottle every bottle will have either thick or thin paint it depends on how much shelf life it has um, covered right so you have to actually work and check uh, that it's only the water that is uh, that is not stable sometimes when we intend to make more shades in batches also then also this comes okay so we will be starting with a small very small and easy uh, uh, jamini roy's painting and that's of a dancer very symmetrical and we will be uh, we will be drawing it on a very small paper because it's just a token of what he does and we are going to study his paintings so it's just an attempt definitely i would not be able to reach to his part but i will be tell you telling you what all is the things that you have to keep in mind while you are doing the painting of jamini roy so even if you are not doing it the way you see it the way you observe it um, after this you will be able to observe the beauty of it even better so let's get started i will fix it to my place yeah i will just zoom in the paper a little so i have taken a a5 size paper not a very big one because we intend to cover it in uh, the class time so here i have taken a a5 size paper i will be taking a normal pencil to draw while you are doing the sketch you will always in jamini roy's painting also what we see in the museums today we also see that there are a uh, few rough sketches also that that gives us the insight on how he was working so he used to draw a lot of sketches because there's a lot of symmetrical orientation the diagrammatic thing is very important so here we will be starting and in this so the face i will do a side face here okay just my light went off just a second let me fix it okay never mind i think we we are okay so here doing the face the face has to be the side face we are doing a picture where the side face is so just a line and the chin so as i said the lines are very very straight the lines are very very straight and 
the coloring also i'll be telling you so if in case you have that base is having the double lines or we are not able to pull the color then also you will be able to get it so oh hi nisha you came in very late i probably we've covered with all the talking about jamini roy you can check the recording as well those who have joined in new please the recording will be there very much so when we see at the jamini roy's painting when we are looking at the front face it is the it is the uh, egg shape so the faces are very symmetrical now here i am doing a side face so you will look that it is a squarish face like here the nose on the this part i am taking the center making the nose just this it's a very simple so it looks like we are just making a very modern kind of a picture but how it turns to be the traditional um, patua painting we'll get to know and eyes are almond shape and very big so like in kali ghat painting we do the fish shape eyes so the fish shape eyes are like this like this whereas here it changes it is the almond shape it's or the leaf shape eye that you will see in all the uh, all jamini roy's painting they can be bigger or thinner depends on so this this might vary a very small eye ball it will get its grace after coloring and a jura now the necks are often so we'll just see the it is a geometrical lines just straight lines i'm giving the curve of the body it doesn't seem to be that body realistic body would look like this but here taking the center the toes was very small you see that it is very geometrical in shape so here a heart shape kind of a thing so it's like a vase this is a straight figure because it is to begin with i wanted to do a very uh, simple figure in the next class we will do how how he makes the twisted figures or the front faces also okay so this is the top i am drawing this but actually not required this can go directly with the brush you'll get a better idea if i'm drawing the a little details though we don't have a lot of cursive or a minute details in here it's only the flat and heavy strokes that will make it very very beautiful so try to balance the stroke it should be even on both the sides and then here so this now how about the hands for the hand just a curve down over here very nice flex curve the arm the hand this will be the bangle i'm not making end to end lines also because my strokes will be very flex just this and here one hand goes on the top so check where the hand is the thickness is very important just take the edge over here and over here that will give you the uh, symmetry so this is one hand on the top like this fix the thickness like i intend to make it a little uh, thicker here but i will just fix it so so rough pencil sketch is better so here it's all fixed just these two here So 
so this is the hand here so this looks like a very very simple drawing but the challenges of uh, doing a Jamini Roy painting is getting the symmetries right and the grace too because with the geometry of it the grace has if the grace is gone or the beauty of the face is gone then it might not be the Jamini Roy painting it's definitely we cannot do as the same justice as he does to his paintings nobody can copy uh, but yeah it's just an in just a an effort to make you see it better it's just a study on how, how I perceive it so here now the feet yeah if you have not subscribed please hit onto the subscribe button and press a like button also right there so that I get to know how many of you are actually liking it though I know you all like but I don't get like <laughs> as many likes as I get the comments from you personally you all contact me on my whatsapp and give me a lot of messages yes but would love it to be reflected on the screen also so right instantly uh, Sheetal have answered your question any other question uh, brown color I will be doing it and I'll be showing it to you Sheetal uh, so sorry here so I'm done here will be some details on uh, like there will be earring there will be some design here it's very different from a traditional Kali Ghat painting because it's a very modernistic approach to it in the Kali Ghat painting we have already done the Kali and uh, how to do the uh, Bibi and the Babu there are so many we have done so please uh, visit that and check to know what is Kali Ghat painting and this is a this is a an artist who was very much influenced or rather influenced is not a correct word he was taken by the charm of that paintings and he started doing it and while he was uh, alive while he was alive he used to give his paintings for free those who liked it and his paintings were maximum sold for 250 to 300 rupees it's just after his death and after his Padma Bhushan and all the recognition that he got that now he is finding its places um, in different museums and art galleries. And that is because it cannot be recreated. The artist is not there. So this is just a small outline sketch of it. I will be doing the poster colors and I will be showing you how to get the whole thing. If you have questions, you please type in. I will be answering it while I set my table also. So, yes. I will be using Dom's colors. And we will see what, what happens for the background. So, I will be using the poster brown. But this burnt sienna is not exactly the color that he uses. So what exactly he uses is a terracotta color. So if with this, if you mix a little bit of red, then you will get a terracotta color. Right. But here I'll be using brown. And sometimes also the strokes, as you say, that it doesn't come smooth. The strokes come. Sometimes the stroke also come if you're not using the right brush. For a bigger area, take a bigger, broader brush to get the sweep quick till the paint dries. Sometimes we do the second paint layer or the side uh, paint, whatever we are covering. It gets really dried out and then it gets overlapped. Wherever the color is overlapping and it's not flowing and finding its uh, place, when it's already dry and you do the next, it will get, definitely get a piled up paint and the pigments will be darker. Right? So I will just take my brush and so no more questions. Let's move to the table. So my doms are here. I will be working with, I'll just show you what consistency and all I do. So I'm just taking the color. 
I'll take good amount of color because I will not be mixing it in batches. Like this. And how to fix it? Even if it the paint is very thick, it will create problem. So I always fix my consistency with a drop by drop of uh, water. You may check. So it means it should not be flowy, but it should not find any stiff peak also. So this is the consistency of my paint. Okay. I will do the outlines of it so that it will take some time for me to do because it is. Uh, thank you, Ambika. Thank you so much. That's a really big comment. Uh, I mean, like appreciation that you are giving it to me. I really value. Here, your hand has to be a little stable for all this stroke work. Better if you just stick your uh, paper there. Now, how will the brush strokes not come? They won't come if you are a little quick also, I must say, because then you don't want your... And here I will be just doing it. No brush strokes will come. Very liberal application. Do the outlines first so that you don't go inside. Do not press your brush too much because it sweeps away the paint. So just use the tip of the brush to do this. Don't let the paint dry on the crease while you are covering. So I will just try to fill in this so that I don't get the crease over here. Do not take a very glazed paper as well. It doesn't take much time, just be a little quick. even application that will come with a little bit of the practice. While you are doing it, if in, in case on your plate, if you're taking too much time, the paint will dry, will start to dry. You have to balance it. So sometimes when we make the paint fresh, it's good. But after like about 10 minutes, if I get a 10 minute um, time to fix all of it and do it, I'm taking more time. I need to fix a little bit of water in it. I haven't stick my paper, so I have to hold it. Otherwise, you can use a masking tape to stick your paper so that it doesn't shake while you're doing it. So this is a demo of not to get, I mean like those who are getting the strokes on the painting in the bases, you will not get with this. See to it that your consistency doesn't change at all while you are doing it. If in case you take tend to take too much water at a moment, then definitely you will have a different shade. And poster colors are the best colors to work with because if you don't have natural colors, still your colors should absorb the light and not reflect it. Having taken acrylic paints, it will reflect the light and it looks the plastic 
it gives you the plastic effect whatever shine you are looking at my paper it is just because of the wet paint wet color and not the plastic kind of um, this thing so here 250 or 300 years watercolors uh, watercolor paper you can take any paper Generally, Patachitra, uh, Bengal Patachitra was done uh, on newsprint paper because it absorbs the color so well. That is what I uh, what I taught in my session where the transparency was do uh, done on the faces, right? That one. You can go for a two. See to it that it's not coarse too much. Uh, we do it on canvas also, so it's not that you cannot do it on certain paper or you can do it anywhere. If you are do, trying it on paper, see when you are trying it on the paper, the paper should not curl because then your strokes will not come very nice. So it has to be treated paper and the paper has to be if in case the paper which actually it's not a, a heavy GSM paper that what I have taken it's a 200 GSM and with the water treatment you will see that the paper gets a little wavy with the strokes when you are doing the strokes, uh, the black strokes basically with the bumps and the of the paper the flow of the paper your strokes also change so take a thicker gsm of paper and do it if in case you want to take a card stack so here this is the the thing okay now I will be just washing my color and with the same thick brush only so it is just the um, the confidence that needs to be there for filling in the colors see when your color is wet very important these are practical things because in the when it's a quick video cover up these things get messed up out of the face not all the time by Charlie not all the time from a side face you will never see them big but fr from a front face you will see them not all the time though there are many where it has gone a little out but not all the time observe it it's 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 done on the front faces so when we will do the front face I will be letting you know very practical thing when you are doing suppose I have to do the face with uh, yellow and your uh, this color is wet already please don't attempt that wait till your creases get dry so that is uh, that is very important your crease gets dry so that you don't pick the color because the water as soon as the water will come in the contact of this wet paint it will reactivate and all the brown will flow in and the colors in um, Jamini Roy's painting are very very opaque and no mixing of colors okay so here I will be taking the yellow and I'm taking the chrome yellow okay the richness of the colors that that are from the paintings you will always uh, see we do get it in Rajasthan natural colors extracted from minerals they are being grounded and mixed to the gum mixed to the gum which is the bale gum in hindi we call in english we call it the stone fruit the bale it's a stone apple they call so i'm just mixing the same consistency nothing else just fix it see to it that the shade doesn't come my brush was already having a little brown in it so it is coming a little ochreish see the difference from the bottle to this but that's not a very um, big reason not to use it because the shades of the skin are of different colors so I think it's all dried I'll just do the outline. I'll cover whatever area has to be black can be covered because black will come on the top. See to it that you do not take very thin paint. 
see i'll show you when you take thinner paint and you do a lot of lines see how would you say that the strokes come i'll mix a little water and show you this is the way where you say the strokes are coming see there's more water you will always feel that the strokes are coming because the water is more when i'm pulling this and you are getting the stroke and if i'm doing this crisscross kind of thing you will get this kind of a stroke right and overlapping the color doesn't look very nice and it's shabby whereas on the contrast you see the background it's totally flat it's a very dark color but still it's flat here it's lighter color but still it's giving out lights the reason as um, you asked me uh, for sheetal i think uh, now this is the answer so if you have too much of too much of water in it you will definitely have this so fix the consistency and there we go now i've already made a lot of lines so i have to cover it up i should have actually done it on a rough paper to show you but what if it comes then how to fix it just do the overlap and gentle overlap so that you do not get the stiff peaks so i'm doing it in two ways the nose also and the lip also okay so these piles that are coming they should be pulled off right away okay otherwise once they dry they will always show up i hope you got your uh, doubts clear now here the best So you have to uh, load your brush very nicely. So I have actually taken the color a little out, but it will come inside with the black stroke. I'll show you if this happens, what will happen. Now for the, I'll just zoom out a little. So for the foot. What brush I'm using is an eight round camel. So this body is done. Oops, I have to just fix it. Yeah, proper. Just wipe your brush i'm just i'll just use the same brush okay so even if you think oh, you don't have this certain kind of uh, brush it's okay just one brush you're good take a thicker brush it's a a5 size paper it's not a a4 also now i'll take the red which is the poster red it's a very bright red again it's very important you to fix the thickness you will not be able to paint it like this also and you won't be able to paint it very uh, very liquid also okay so very important whenever you are doing anything uh, pertaining to so my paint is less i need to add water i it seems that even one drop of water will be more so i'll just pick it from here and see and that much is enough I don't need that much of water it's just a drop more than that so always take it in a separate container rather than just picking it from the main bowl so don't do that make a point and
whenever you paint your brush should be loaded very nicely less of the pulling will help you to get minimum lines The same thing goes on the sleeves. See the leg second batch of the color. Sometimes, abhi to, this is not actually the stroke work, it's, uh, it's a flat lay of color. So here going to the uh, uh, feet also, there is alta that is worn by the ladies or the dancers in fact, not ladies. Ladies also they wear it, dancers they do all the time. The hands also are colored with red inside. So like here, since this hand is, you will always see that the lines are very prominent. This only line will serve the purpose. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the lip for this. Just a very flat uh, section was there and now the lip. We will wait till it dries and we will move to the another section. See if you are recreating you may take your own color choice whatever the choice of your color is. I would uh, there is one light blue shade that we see mostly in his paintings and I will just create that. So here I'll just show you how the colors are made as well. So just take good amount roll your brush in there I'll first fix the consistency of the color by adding drop of water now this is very thin consistency how well in the plastic also when you do it you see that the paint is coming together from the edges you see that it's uh, it's just going in as I will be mixing the paint you will see it will not happen it will reduce so it has much it is reduced much and now I have this consistency it's a light blue shade and I'll be taking a blue which is uh, the cobalt blue very little very little to fix i don't want a darker blue very little very little when i say i always dip it and take it out and from there i will be fixing my consistency with how much ever i want so just directly don't pull in your color see to it how much is required what shade you want Try not to make it in batches because your shades might differ. Try all the corners and mix every place to get a homogeneous color. And feed in your brush very well. So this is a well fed brush. So when I show you the brush, it's you will be able to see it. It's like no bristles are seen, right? I've just loaded it. Well, now I'll go into on the book, just shift it to the sides and here. Giving it a nice sweep. Load it again nicely.
so you will not have the strokes when you do it like this a slight variation is only seen because of the water right now once it dries the light will not show this and with the natural what was the reason why I would have definitely natural ground grinded colors give better pigmentation or the better better catch to the painting otherwise nobody would do that while it's available over the con count i mean like whatever colors are available in the market still people are going for the hand uh, natural pigments there has to be a reason you can balance your line a little even if a little goes on the brown you will not reactivate it till it is wet if your brown is wet it will come inside if it is dry you can work with the same poster colors on it it will not do any harm to your picture so I'll just to show you how I said that okay it will not do any harm I'll just I'm just applying it and nothing is coming brown on this so it's as pastel as can be right so it's not very important that oh this is going on a poster color how can we post pour, paint on a poster color so that's why acrylic is important it is not you can work with this as well The only thing is you cannot do two three strokes at the same place because it will give you the base color yeah. I'll take one more area which is here in blue Ma'am, my colors were new. Some fluid was present already, which was not allowing proper mixing. Okay, you have to stir it. So, for that, never shake it with your brush. You always get such kind of a stirring um, uh, thing with your, uh, this thing. If in case you have, uh, your colors have rested for a long time and there is some water on the top, it will, these are pigments, they will settle down. I'll just show you if in case you are lucky, you will have this something like that no mine are very pasty but still you can see here i don't know it's a little watery you have to mix it churn it so that you get nice uh, mix of color before you attempt it because on the top you will have different um, thin paint and at the bottom you will have thick paint so stir it nicely and then try to work on very important do not use it or shake it too much because then the bubbles will cause a lot of uh, unevenness right so this is i have it but since it's the color which is blue and it's not visible inside the bottle there it's some liquid in there so if i show you there oh it's it's not even coming on my finger i'll unnecessarily make my finger dirty okay so here it's not coming the edge is touching it it's 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 with water on the top so uh, don't worry if you cannot see this man but you will have to turn it you can use the back side of the brush to do the same if you don't have this kind of a tool it comes in the box anyway uh, Divya okay no worries if you joined right now uh, you can uh, see the recording as well so I'll wait till it is drying and then we will start with the but this area has dried so I will go ahead with doing some of the details 
now i'll take a brush which is actually three round three round and you can take any brush don't go for like ma'am which brand you are using because many people ask me which brand any brand is okay till the time you don't worn out your brush if i say camel you cannot have a camel brush with without a proper tip if i say any other brush if the tip is right you can work well which color are you using neera i'm using um, dom's poster colors you can use any poster colors so they are more opaque and chalky so that's why now i'll take black and i'll take ochre for some areas i'll show you how to do so here for ochre i'm taking some ochre there was some uh, water pigment so i have to just mix it a little over here probably this is seen here i'll take it out on this and i'll do some stroke work so from the middle i'm pressing and i'm releasing you will see that the strokes are not even and there is a purpose of it so when the stroke is not even you will see the stroke it it starts with the thick and then ends with the thin okay just to make it a little more visible to you and I'll, I'll add a little bit of yellow so that it brightens the stroke only one over here press release press release so you'll have that stroke kind of effect you will not have lines so free strokes are important like that just standard solid stroke for that you have to load your brush nicely so if you can see the corner i'm just loading it till the crimp till here till the crimp i'm just loading it like that so the stroke starts very sound and uh, very uh, strong and then goes very fine so this is when i talked about it i said it has a calligraphic expression it is this like that here i will be changing my color now just washing it now i'm just waiting for the uh, this to dry so that we can work on i'll take my blue color to uh, work later because my light blue is already wet so i'm just taking my black again make the consistency nice so that it gives you a very nice opaque line because you cannot do two lines you cannot shake your hand you cannot uh do the doubling on it because one stroke should get it what is this something came here mm. yeah so we'll just just do the face first so you'll see a flat head not very curved one
just fill in there will be certain places for for all the line work i will uh, for the face we'll cover it up and then we will start so you have to touch with a very fine point and then bend and then again so release here bend so you, that you get the thickness and then you go with a thin end so this is how you will be getting it i'll repeat it thin and then press gently and then with one stroke you have to release the same thing you have to do it over here like that so you will see that the thin ends and the circle ha i mean like the center has to be a little thick i'll just go ahead with So this is the type of when we do it it looks like this this is a very peculiar thing on the side faces of chamini roy so again press and release so this kind of curves and uh, are important in the stroke so it's not a thin line stroke it's very uh, different kind of a stroke you have to get it in one uh, this thing So I'll just quickly do the strokes. It doesn't have to be end to end, so it's not that way. At times you will see the curve going out and you get a little bit of brown line also. That serves as a shade work as well. I think it's dried now and I'll do the
we'll go ahead to do some of the so this is uh, how we can say that a little uh, insight oh my messy table <laughs> yeah okay yeah it always gets messier when when we work yeah so this is how it should look like we will go ahead and do the decorations that are there all the detail part and i'm going to this blue has dried and i'm going to take the same cobalt blue and do the details a little details as the stroke so you will see very small strokes and uh, they will have the thin ends and the center gets a little thicker okay so it's like press and release press and release so this kind of like a free flow of uh, the stroke is the charm and that is how when we draw it it looks very simple when we do um, the flat coloring yet it is a very normal picture but when these strokes come then it looks a little extraordinary and that is the Jamini Rai effect to avoid putting hands on the wet paint just take some more your brush should have enough paint when you start okay yes but white is the color that is left and white is the most stunning color most stunning color here i will be i'll be just taking my white post color i take i generally keep two three whites sometimes you uh, happen to put the white some brush with white here yeah, see i used it so i always keep white white and just white <laughs> so it's just when i use it and you get a little bit of colors where i have to use it so this is my second poster color thing so i'm just sharing you what i what i do it's just the insight on my table what how i work when i have to get the whitest white so I'll just take out little because white is only with the not too much of the whites are here again fix the consistency it's very important for all and with this your strokes are important see to it that you release it very Lightly. Do not press your uh, brush, else you will not get beautiful white dots. And the dots and the lines are the uh, are used widely in his paintings. You will see a lot of alpanas. You will see a lot of such things as well. So few places for white. Yeah. 
I'll just get the light line over here line over here just to fix a little of the thing here I will be doing the tassel like so here also these there's yet another thing backgrounds get to be a little painted I'll do the same There's no measurement for it. Wherever you feel that the space is there, you want something, fine. With poster colors and this art, it's just one confident stroke all the time. Do not rework on one area, otherwise this will get spoiled. If you wish, you can do the uh, side pipeline with whatever color you want. I would be leaving it white. And this is how the painting looks like. What's the reason, Anjana? Anjana, there's no reason. <laughs> reason, probably the artist knows it. We are recreating the picture so we, we cannot say why he does the thing he does and uh, why he is known for the thing he does okay so there is um, nothing that we can say why he makes this geometric shapes why he does use only seven colors we cannot uh, do this uh, he is he is known for the style and that is how he used. So uh, probably I'm not the right person to answer why he does it like this. <laughs> so here is the picture and uh, I hope you all liked it. If you have not subscribed, do subscribe. If you have not uh, shared it with others, please share it with others also so that they also get benefited from this and they would learn. Uh, the things because when we look at something we want to try to recreate it's very important to connect to the art form to the artist and the way he looks at his paintings uh, because when you actually go to an, uh, to a gallery if the artist is there you just uh, never miss talking to the artist you will get what the thought process is and that thought process makes the picture even better and beautiful so whatever he trans uh, translate into color that is very important so i hope you all liked it and uh, yes we created this beautiful piece of his artwork i hope you all liked it i will see you tomorrow again with the front face of how 
uh, Jamini Roy does his uh, paintings in the front face. So uh, till then, yes, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, bye-bye, take care, have a nice weekend.